Hey guys, it's Layla from Ignite and I'm here with Johnny. What up? And in today's video, we're going to have a chat about the most common mistakes students make during the preparation phase and also the writing of essays in exams. Yes, but before we get into that, please do check out our online database full of HSC English resources at ignitehsc.com.au. We are nearing, I believe, a thousand students on the platform now. We've got lots more, of schools signing up. There we go. So we've got a lot of people on there. It is really helping students improve their results, especially with essays, comprehension, the craft of writing. So please do check it out. And also, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if it's providing some value for you. And click the bell for notifications. There we go, I've covered all the ground. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so the first mistake that students make when preparing for exams, in the, especially in the HSC, when preparing for essays in particular, is they fail to prepare early, mm. right? Prepa preparation early is the most important thing for English. The idea that you study these texts for about a term each, you go in depth, and then it all comes down to 40 minutes to be assessed on it is insane. Like people go in there and think it all comes down to that. Mm. It doesn't. In my view, in my eyes, you do 95% of the work before the exam, 90 to 95%, and then 5 to 10% of kind of the end result is determined by on the day adaptation and skill to actually adapt to a new question. Yep. But most of the work should have already been done. You should have already prepared all of your evidence. You should have done numerous drafts or at least one draft and practiced adapting to many different types of questions so that you're, you are more than equipped to actually answer a new question on the day. You should be used to all, you basically should be memorized to the point that you're so familiar with the evidence that you are going to rely on. The evidence is solid. You have had it marked by teachers. You have had your topic sentences looked at. You've refined them. You've made your writing sharp. You need to do all of that before you get into the exam hall. Don't let everything rest on 40 minutes, which could be very stressful, high pressure. And if you aren't thinking clearly in the day, it could all come falling apart. It's not going to come falling apart if you are very prepared. So prepare early. How early? If you've got an exam coming up, I'll, I'll put trials and HSC to one side here. If you've just got a general assessment, usually you get two weeks notice. I would be trying to get a draft done for whatever type of assessment it is in that first week. So then this, in the w week leading up to the actual assessment, you are refining, you're refining, you are getting things marked and reviewed, but you actually do the draft, you do the hard work early in that first week. Yeah. Yeah. And I think a common misconception that is I guess received when people say you know you need to write an essay in advance and you need to prepare it is that we're telling you to do that because we want you to go into the exam and be totally attached to that one essay and regurgitate it word for word which is absolutely not what we're telling you to do you need to memorize in advance so that you've got material that can be adapted to the question in the exam so that 40 minutes the number one I guess approach of your consciousness is that you're trying to engage with the question as closely as possible because we know that that's what gets you the highest mark the student that unpacks the question and deals with the question in a sustained and a consistent way throughout the entirety of their response. And you won't have time to think about that if you're scrambling in those 40 minutes trying to remember quotes or think about how to frame those quotes or ideas for your body paragraphs. So in quite an antithetical way, the preparation is actually so that you can engage with the question in the exam. It's not to regurgitate verbatim your thesis statement and your topic sentences from that prepared piece. So I understand if you're listening to that first, I guess, spiel from Johnny and you're thinking that conflicts with what your teacher says to you. Teachers kind of ring alarm bells when they hear a student saying, Miss, I've got a prepared essay, and they think that that means the student's going to fail. It absolutely doesn't. Perhaps if you had two minutes, uh, perhaps, sorry, if you had two hours to write an essay, you could go in there and be a little bit more candid in the construction. Mm -hmm. But the most important element, as Johnny has framed, and the mistake that students make is going into that essay and not knowing exactly the direction of that essay. So to safeguard yourself, have points and a focus for each of those paragraphs that are easily adaptable to as many different questions. As Johnny mentioned, and when we speak to state-ranked students, they say the most valuable thing you can do is to go through as many different questions and ask yourself, test yourself, if you got that worst case scenario question, the question that you don't want, how would you actually use the material you've got to answer it? And that way you know going into the exam, this is how you'll change, alter the essay you've got, the exemplar, depending on the different requirements of that question. So prepare in advance, be open to adjusting to different question types, and of course time yourself before you go into that exam. That's part of the preparation as well. 
Yes, yes, timing, huge point. Uh, let's talk a bit more specifically about that. Yeah, if you sure. are preparing, as we're saying, one of the most common mistakes is that people do the hard work, they draft the response, they get feedback, the teacher says, this is sounding great, and you've gone and practiced uh, adapting to other questions, but then you actually get into the exam hall and you realize, hang on a second, this is way too long. You look at the clock and there's only 10 minutes to go and you're only halfway through your essay. Mm. We've got problems. So how do you avoid that? When you do the preparation, when you actually are drafting, when you're practicing adapting to other questions, you need to make sure that you have timed the draft. You yeah. need to make sure that you have plenty of time to spare so that you are in a mindset that is open to engage with the question on the That's day. Right. If you are in a scarce mindset, if you know that the essay takes exactly 40 minutes to reproduce and you only get 40 minutes on the day, what are you going to be inclined to do? Literally spend every minute writing the essay you know because you know you don't have any time to spare or even worse, you don't know how much time you have. So right. time these drafts, make sure you've got about 15 to 20% of the allotted time spare. So if you've got a 40 minute essay, you know, if you're a quick writer, 32 minutes for a draft is ideal yeah. and you're leaving 20% of time purely to focus on addressing the question at hand. Because the focus is going to be unpacking that question. You've got to look at that question, identify the key ideas, think about the thesis you're going to write, plan ahead in thinking about how you'll adapt the focus of each of those paragraphs to address the question. All of that takes at least five minutes, right? So you've got to get within that time frame so that you have the security to spend time actually answering the question. And if you don't have time, if you're running out of time in the exam, it's better off for you to sacrifice parts of your essay and privilege including references to the question than wanting to regurgitate what you have verbatim in that response. Absolutely. Okay, the next common mistake that students make is feeling like they have to keep their work exclusively to themselves and not share it with anybody else. And I understand the competitiveness, the obsession with ranks that you have within your school, but it is a gross mistake to not want to get feedback from others and learn how to enhance your writing. Yes, that's right. So definitely do share around your essays to people you trust, to people who can reciprocate feedback as well, ideally, but also you know, be a nice person. If someone does come and ask you for help because maybe you're a better writer, do lend feedback to them. Don't expect them to do anything in return. Yeah. You know, it's there is karma at play here. So if you do something good for them, things will come back in your favor. It also benefits the entire cohort if you all do well. So scaling will work in your favor if everybody's doing really well. That's right. So find one, two, three other people that you can get into a kind of essay sharing group with. Send each other essays when you've done drafts. Remember, do that early on in the process. Mm. And then give each other feedback. What would you change? You'll learn a bit from each other's essays as well. And yeah. you, know, you can ask to borrow pieces and things like that. We always did that. Yeah. I always did that. I had two people I just shared all my essays with in the prep process. And we all helped each other go much better. So yeah. I do advise doing that as well. And collaborative learning just makes it all the more enjoyable as well, I think, getting through that HSE. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Don't, don't do it uh, uh, alone, right? Yeah. You're not an island. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, so reflecting on the vid, we recommend that you prepare well in advance for your HSC studies. Make sure that you go through and you have time to address the question. And, of course, get into collaborative learning and learn from the excellence of your friends. Well summarized. All right, thanks, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Please do that for us. It'll help us keep motivated to keep producing these videos. And please do check out ignitehsc.com.au for more resources. And for now, we'll see you in the next video. See you then. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do like the content, subscribe to our channel and we'll have more videos coming your way. That's right guys, thanks for watching and please make sure you check out our online resource database. We've had a team of state rank achievers and heads of English put these together for you, covering everything from essay structures and examples all the way through to craft of writing and comprehension skills. So check them out at ignitehse.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.